Yeah, so I met some uh, satanic art exhibition. It's pretty interesting, pretty wavy. Yeah, and they've got one of those, oh, I can't remember what it's called, it's like a dream, a dream something, a dream light. I don't know, I can't remember what it's called, but maybe try and get some inspiration in there later. <laughs> Huh? Just a bunch of wild bananas appeared. Um, I think someone got them for free because they're getting chucked out. So it's a few breakfasts right there. Oh, beautiful avenue. Wild dog appears. I actually got a job as a bike career, and I'm about to start my first uh, first shift. It's meant to rain tonight, so... Just finished my first shift and it was soaking wet, so wet, only got four deliveries done, slow time, start the business, so... But I'm eating some gnocchi now, apparently it's National Potato Day, someone made me aware of. So, it's a cool synchronicity that I'm eating gnocchi. Yeah, with what? But, I'm a drowned rat. With what? Carrots. Roast, no, bell, that's squash. Yeah. And time. Time. And time. Oh, look at the time. Stop this clip. <laughs> Beautiful sunset. Very, very popular tonight. It's getting grammed. We are on the surface of a planet. Can you believe it? News flash, news flash. What do you say? Why don't you shut up, you animal? The moon, the moon's coming in, the moon, the moon's coming back. Full moon soon, next weekend. Be there or be square. So it's actually a warm day in England today. So I decided to come down to the beach. Let's go for a swim or something, maybe even a run, I don't know. Too fast for me. Check it around the beach. Yeah, just run around the beach. Because <laughs> why not? It's fun running in weird places. Oh, it's so deep. Look how deep the sand is. Anywhere's the gym. Oh, I can't wait to jump in the sea. <laughs> Woo! I want to run. <laughs> Never been surrounded by so many people doing a run before. Doing my first double shift Korean, couriering, courier, bike couriering. It's basically delivering stuff on my bike. And, uh, Seen quite a lot of London that I've never seen before, just exploring in between deliveries. And check out this beautiful, beautiful, literally beautiful piece of graffiti or artwork or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> it's where it's cold, but it's positive, being alive, being out in the rain and the elements. And exploring, having fun on this planet. On this planet. So this is a fuel riding your bike around London all day, just Bunch of perfect bananas <laughs> in a uh, in a thingy with some coconut milk, water, sugar, some extra sugar for even more carbohydrates, and some ginger on top there. I haven't got any cinnamon at the moment, but yeah, that's breakfast. Might be lunch as well by the looks of these beauties. It's gone blurry because I'm on the card. Just about to leave for work. Let's see what British summertime is like right now. Hmm. Yeah. Did you know that co-ops sell vegan donuts? Let's go get some. Whoa. But yeah, I got some uh, vegan custard donuts. 
gonna eat these to uh, pass the time. London is now my office. How cool is that? How cool is that? Cool life. Wow, Jay, you got such a cool life. Well, everyone's life's cool, just in different ways. Over and out. I was just in bed. I had to go to sleep after a busy day couriering. Here's some weird alarm from my bedroom door, window, whatever. And it's like an alarm that's been going on for like 5, 10, maybe even 15 minutes saying uh, please leave the building immediately. You can hear it now. But basically I've gone out for a walk and I'm just trying to find out <laughs> where it's coming from. <laughs> um, it's kind of windy, so it's kind of hard to figure out where it's coming from, but I think I'm getting closer. I think it might be this button even. Who knows? I'm actually on the Olympic Park now. I thought it might have been the velodrome. It's coming from over there. It might be a new spill fields market actually. It's a longer walk than I was hoping I thought it was gonna be like around the block. <laughs> so it's gonna be like <laughs> quite a few kilometers now. But gotta find out for you guys. I wanna find out as well. Naturally curious, you know. Whew. Hopefully nothing too serious. So I found the source of the noise. I don't know if you can see it, but there's like three loudspeakers up there. Attention, please. And, um. Attention, please. Yeah, there's actually no lifts, there's no please buildings. Building it's like a pop up thing please in between Spitfield's Market and the Velodrome. The so, it's some malfunction because there's nothing happening here. <laughs> but it's been going on for like half an hour now. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it took me about 5k to get here, so. Attention, bit of a longer please. walk than I expected, but Attention, please. curiosity. Please leave the building full moon coming in over there, and please leave the building just weird, the like new world order government programming us while we're sleeping, needed. getting us into that emergency mindset while we're sleeping. You know, <laughs> interesting though, huh? Different. Everyone's probably panicking, but Attention, there's nothing to see please. here. Let's see if we can change the lighting. Is that any better? Who knows? Anyway, rainbow and amazing dogs. Amazing rainbow, amazing dogs. Oh my god, there's another amazing dog. Look at these dogs. Amazing dogs, amazing phenomena in the sky. Welcome to life, folks. We're at the most haunted woods in the whole of the UK. Full moon in the sky. Full moon in the sky. And we're gonna go like, not camp, just rest our eyes in sheltered spot. Should be interesting. There's meant to be really loud screams, blood curling screams. <laughs> so we're about to enter the forest. Look at that full moon. I mean, it sucks on the iPhone. It looks yeah, amazing in real life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Goodbye, world. <laughs> Found a place to settle down for the night. Whoa. We're just having a little rest. We're not actually sleeping here. We're just, you know, enjoying the views in this particular spot. And uh, yeah, apparently the most haunted forest in the UK. Face your fears. If you can sleep here, you can sleep anywhere. And yeah. <laughs> Let's uh, see if we encounter anything weird. So, somehow I managed to survive the night in the woods. Somehow. <laughs> <laughs> the most haunted woods in the UK. Done and dusted. That's actually one of my best wild, wild camping sleeps. Not that we wild camp, we just rested, but um, <laughs> you know. Going for a little walk around the forest now in the morning. Um, yeah, we're gonna go Everest in again today. Uh, should be pretty hard work. Oh, we've already done it. Everest in. Uh, Everest in. <laughs> Great delivery, man. <laughs> well, well, well. Looks like it's raining outside, or at least it's a little bit wet. Probably time to go for a run. What do you think? What do you think? Go for a run? Let's go for a run. So, I've decided I prefer trail running. Stay more distracted from the, the suffering. Oh, a puddle! A puddle! A puddle! Just enjoying it, enjoying being outdoors, getting messy. But yeah, running's tough. I say it every time, but running is so much tougher than cycling. Cool thing about my new job. 
finding loads of like random inspirational street art everywhere. This is the coolest restaurant I've picked up from. It's like underground. It's all like Middle Eastern. It's awesome. Just seen so many parts of London on this job. So cool. Just did my first delivery south of the river, believe it or not. And uh, I almost delivered to the Shard, which is right here. Almost delivered to it, delivered to the building next to it. But yeah, just sightseeing in London and getting paid for it. Real busy shift today. Feeling good, feeling good. I can tell she's slowly gone back to milk rather than Okay, so something funny just happened to me. I just crashed and fell off. <laughs> uh, cut my knee, cut my elbow.